right, so hey, what's up? We're back. We're still here at the MTE. I am standing right here with the one and oh, only. Oh, get it out I got here, man. the bad. Get out of here. Okay. Get out of here. This is Rennie, here, Rennie Doyle, if y'all don't know. I mean, this man here is, uh, oh man, it's hard. It's hard to even speak on it, but I mean, I got a lot of respect for this man right here. His, the way that he's came up, uh, I don't know everything. You know, I don't know his whole backstory. Just from what I've seen, what I've read, um, I can relate to it a lot myself. So I'm really glad to do this interview right here, man. Yeah, I'm really brother. glad to hear thanks, about Thank everything you. that you're doing. I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm okay. flattered. So I, I won't give you know too much of your background or anything like that. I'll let you take the gotcha. floor and kind of just talk about. Um, well, first off, I started my company through job readiness training with at-risk kids and foster care youth. So I wasn't there to introduce youth into a, uh, well, turn them into a professional detailer, but right. I was just there to introduce them into a working environment and help them establish a strong work ethic. I wrote it as a program for a foster care agency that I was That's working awesome. for. That's it was awesome. the fourth program that I had written. Uh, by the time we did it, I was like, I want ownership. And that's what happened. It took off and that's been 10 years. Wow. Okay. so. <laughs> Uh, from that, I took a liking to detailing, you know, really had a knack for it and kind of just sort of in my area just rose through the ranks. Um, so to stand here with Rennie Doyle, who has basically taken the walk that I'm trying to take right. and coming from the background that I'm coming from, I mean, this is like... This, uh, I got, I got, I got to drop a knee. Like, no, no, no. Well, come on, man. That way, well, that way, we're the same size. You know, we're the same height, man. We're the same height that way. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, Rennie Doyle has uh, detailed mafia. I don't know all the details on it. I did do a little bit of research so I could be abreast of it. But um, from what I've seen, I just, I really liked it, and it kind of made me want to enhance what I'm doing That's cool. to make uh, sort of like an alumni yeah. chapter of what I'm doing to where it's for life. That's it. It's not just you come through this program and now you leave because I think the detail mafia background, like you're you're in it for life. You are. Okay. You know, or if you chose choose. Okay. So you know, if but you leave, you, we got to kill you. you yeah. Know, I mean, simple as that. <laughs> that's you know? the mafia. We gotta kill, that's we gotta the mafia. Kill you. So did I mention I'm not joining? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. No. <laughs> well, you know, the background of it that comes is that I grew up in uh, just outside of L.A. Okay. And uh, you know, it was a cool little town, but it was a rough town. All oh, right. And I grew up with uh, no dad in my life. Um, being a car guy, we, we didn't have a car half of my life. Mm. Well, we did, Yeah. but mm -hmm. it didn't go nowhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And then, uh, you know, like you mentioned, uh, you know, I, I, I started getting in a little trouble. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I had some right mentors step into my life at a young age. Mm -hmm. But then something amazing happened is I started really realizing I, the roads I didn't want to go down mm -hmm. is about that time I was 13, I found out my, my grandma was on welfare. She was raising me, my, her and my mom, mm. and she, she was paying with this money that look different than other people's money. Right. <laughs> and I was like, hey man, Nana, what you know, what kind of what kind of money is that? Right. She goes, well, it's called food stamps. And I was like, well, what, what the hell is food stamps? And she mm -hmm. goes, well, it's it's welfare. And this was a majestic lady, man. Mm -hmm. And so, about the same time, I'd been hanging around an airport, and the kid, the guy, got tired of me, you know. And mm -hmm. he says, hey, if you're gonna hang around here, you're gonna work. So he put me to work washing and waxing airplanes. Wow. By the time I was 14, I got my grandma off those food stamps. Mm. I turn that money over and I get chills today because Nana, you know, I get emotional. Right. Um, she was too good. She didn't even be handing that out. She worked her whole life. She didn't even be handing that. It was me. Mm. She was feeding me. Mm. She wasn't, that wasn't for her. Yeah, that, that was, was for, for me. Yeah. And so I think that it set up, like you said, a work ethic mm -hmm. at that point in time. And if you're going to be at the top of any game, you ask any pro athlete, you ask a dentist, you ask a business person, a personality. Mm -hmm. It's one thing's always there. If you don't have tenacity yeah. and a good work ethic, mm -hmm. bye. Yeah, you're done. You ain't gonna make it. Simple as that. Yeah. Even the guys that walk into a situation where they've got, you know, they're sitting at the right seat at the right time, mm -hmm. at some point, they're gonna have to go and put that to work. And if you don't know how to work, you ain't gonna make it. Right. But you can take Carol Shelby, the, the designer of Shelby Automotive. Okay, yeah. I ran into him at SEMA uh, probably, oh man, it was 12, 15 years ago. Uh, I wasn't quite 40 yet, I'm 52 now. And I asked him, I remember going to almost, almost, you know, when you're 30 something, you're hitting 40, it's like, oh damn. The end of time's about ready to hit, right? Okay, yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'm right, at right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I asked Carol Shelby, so check this out. Mm -hmm. I asked Carol Shelby, I said, sir, we had a one-on-one -on -one with him, man. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this guy, he glued, you know, he was, there's a, there was a halo around him, you right, know? Right, okay. And I said, hey man, I'm getting to an age, sir, you know, to where um, I'm a little worried about my career, my future, and what I do. And he goes, son, how old are you? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'm gonna be 40. And he goes, son, you're still retarded. Right. <laughs> you're still retarded. And he goes, here's why. 
He says, when you hit 50, you're going to get be really pretty smart. Mm -hmm. When you hit 60, you're going to be rolling in it. Mm -hmm. When you hit 70, you're going to wish you're 50. Mm -hmm. And he said, but here's the deal. You're not coming into your smart working time until you hit your 40s, and you're not going to fit it out, figure it out until you're close to 50. Wow. At 50, almost 53, I can tell you what, he was spot on. At 47, 48, I got in the best rhythm of my life. You know what that mm -hmm. rhythm was? It was smart working, not overworking. It was paying attention to my wife and my kids. It was paying attention to what was important to me and not chasing money. Mm -hmm. I let money chase me. Yeah, I say that all the time myself, yep. man. If you are making sure that you're executing what you're supposed to be executing, Thank you. Then thank you. The money will follow. Yep. Okay. You just have to follow your passion, do what That's you it. love. That's and it. And the money and all of the things that come along with the success will be there. Okay. You know, it will be there. My buddy Jim Gogan sitting right here. We talk. He's he's one of the, the founding fathers of the Detail Mafia. He's a mm -hmm. huge part of the IDA. He just became a, a founding member of the IDA okay. last night. Mm -hmm. We've always told said it. Hey man, if it, if you don't execute, we can show you all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you don't execute it and do it, yeah, it's not gonna be done. Nothing's gonna do it for you. That's right. Nothing. You can that's see my, right. my, my my voice comes up. I get a little excited about this. Yeah, I, a, that's what I like to talk listen. about, the real stuff. Man. Right. People yeah. don't listen, and you got you to execute. So you're right on spot. Okay. So the Detail Mafia, how did it come uh, into <laughs> your brand? Like, how did you implement that? Like, how did the idea come right. in? Like, I mean, that's, it's, it's deep. It's well, deep. You know, it's, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm Doyle, uh, my mom's main name is Vaco. My, okay. my grandpa is actually a made guy in the Dipolito family. Right, okay. Uh, came over from Italy, 100% Italian, mm -hmm. uh, was a capo. I mean, so, and I grew up knew, knowing that. He wasn't mm -hmm. a bad, like, you know, hitman kind of guy. Right, yeah. He was running, you know, he was making money. Okay. You know, he was making yeah. money. But he was original gangster. I mean, yeah, he was it. Pa paper right? chasing. He was, uh -huh. he was paper chasing. By any means necessary. That's exactly I got to make he was this going money. After it. <laughs> so I kind of grew up with that, you know, being a whole thing in my family, you mm -hmm. know, and stuff like that. And it's really something I grabbed onto because I didn't have a lot. Yeah. You know, and he was already gone by the time I, or he was, he, he died shortly after I was born. But we were sitting there one night and we started, I started training people. Mm -hmm. I'd run a, a company that was doing well over a million dollars a year in detailing. Okay. So how long was the company established at this point? You know, I, I got into, I, I sold my first detailing shop when I was 19. Mm -hmm. I made about a hundred thousand bucks off it in 1980, okay. mid 80s, okay. somewhere right there. Sold that, uh, said, hey man, that's small potatoes. I'm gonna go become a multimillionaire in the next uh, three, four minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. I uh, went to school, I uh, had a bad attitude, I had a poor attitude, I was raised mm -hmm. poor. I didn't have a bad attitude about school, I had a poor attitude. So I didn't value education at that time. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I go up to play, believe it or not, I play football mm -hmm. at a okay. university, tried to. Uh, I uh, you see the movie Rudy? Yeah. I was kind of like Rudy, <laughs> you know? I had a big heart, little body. You know, big heart, little body. <laughs> the little engine that could. Yeah, right? I got a little engine that could. And I, and I couldn't. You You're know? right. <laughs> and so I, um, I, I quit. I quit school. I wow. quit getting educated. Mm -hmm. And so I went out, I started a couple more businesses. I did really good with those businesses. Mm -hmm. Kept making money, kept rolling it up, kept rolling it up, kept rolling it up. Mm -hmm. I was smart. I took in, I, I absolutely took and just concentrated on being happy. Because I spent some of my youth not being happy. Not being right? happy, right. And then um, somebody came back into my life, poisoned me. Mm -hmm. I allowed that to happen. Mm -hmm. Taught me that all the bad habits about you know chasing money, chasing mm -hmm. long hours, chasing you know, whatever you could chase, I was yeah. chasing. Yeah. And it took just a few years, but it took over a decade to stop those bad habits. Mm -hmm. At that time, I'm starting to have kids. I got married to a wonderful, you know, my, my, my lifetime partner, my, mm -hmm. my bedrock, Diane. Yeah. We have four wonderful kids. Okay. But I was off kilter, man. Because mm -hmm. I was a good father, mm -hmm. but I could have been better. Could have been better. Does that make right. sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And all so day. the mafia at that time, I'm, I'm running this company. It's uh, I started it in the, in the, in the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. Uh, about 2004, Matt Williams out of Marysville, Ohio, he's still in business, okay. calls me up and he says, hey man, I've watched you grow your business. You know, the internet's starting to pop now. Mm -hmm. We got a couple of like, you know, ancient forums, you know, All right, we had to pull our flip phones and go A, B, B, C, C. <laughs> okay, number two, you know, and so yeah. you pull it out, right? Uh -huh. And so it'd take you 15 minutes to say, hey, how you doing? Yeah. You know, on text. Right. Uh -huh. Where now you can just, you know, bam, yeah. son all the numbers and letters are there. That's it. So Matt Williams says, hey man, I want to come up and train with and mentor with you. I was like, uh, oh, I, I really don't do that. And he said, no man, you gotta, I just got out of college. I want to learn what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're on fire. All right. I said, okay. So Matt Williams, I trained him and then I just, he told a couple detailers on the forums mm -hmm. and it just kept on growing and growing and growing and growing. And um, it grew into two, four, six, that was an 04. So by 06, we said, hold on, man, we're on to something. Mm -hmm. So um, I sold a couple of my detailing shops. Mm -hmm. 
and I invested the money into a, to, to learning how to train. I've trained as a search and rescue technician in the military, mm -hmm. uh, civilian world as a way to give back. So I, I knew how to train people. I had that background, but I didn't know how to train them in, in detailing. Furthermore, I, I decided everybody that was coming to training wanted to learn how to use these. Well, they really needed to learn how to use these. Right. And connect these with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. So uh, 26, uh, 2006, um, I gave up running my detailing shops. I handed that over to our managers and my wife, mm -hmm. and we started building up what's called Detailing Success Now. Jim Gogan and a couple other guys were sitting at this show one night. Uh, Deborah, uh, which is uh, uh, Detail Magazine, okay. was interviewing me, and she goes, hey man, she goes, you guys don't talk a lot. It was back when detailers didn't talk. You, yeah. You know, oh, I, yeah. Oh, man, I got secret. Yeah. My secret got, sauce. Got, <laughs> man, you, ain't learned, you ain't learned my secret sauce. Uh -huh. It's because you don't. You guys don't talk much. And I said, no, man, we keep quiet. We're all about business and making money. And she goes, you're kind of like the mafia, like the detail mafia. And I went, yes, we are. Uh, I like that. Huh? Yeah. Got I, I'm that. into coffee. And we had uh, Dutch Brothers up in the Pacific Northwest. They got the Dutch mafia. Mm -hmm. And so I came home and I went, you know, I like this detail mafia thing. My grandpa pays honor to my grandparents. Mm -hmm. Which some think is weird, yeah. but it's my history. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I, I can relate. You right, know, yeah. and then there's the you know the 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 Dutch the Dutch mafia, the detail mafia. Deborah kind of mentioned something, and it just took off. Mm -hmm. So we had the twelve, what we call the dirty dozen. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the the guys, Matt Williams, Jim Gogan, Harry, I mean Bobby, all these guys, wow. Doug and Doug. We sit down at this show, mm -hmm. back all the way back in you know starting in 04, mm -hmm. 05, 06, Jim. When I met him in 05 here, mm -hmm. 06, and so but surely the Detail Mafia started growing into a network of professionals and we started educating each other. Mm -hmm. So then we started putting on webinars and it went from being 12 or 15 of us to well over 150 of us now. Wow. Uh, and so we're strong, we, wow. we support each other, we have awards, we have a board of directors, uh, mm -hmm. we, we, we have main events uh, in, at SEMA. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, get this, this year we'll have a, over 100 webinars Mm. Educational webinars. We wow. bring on specialists. We got guys in our group that are are, are worth millions, mm. worth millions of dollars. Wow! And it comes down to one thing: education. Education. Education is the key, which is the the that's the thing I drive behind my my company. I say we don't sell our customers; we educate them. That's exactly it. it sells man. itself. That's exactly it. You're so you on. have to educate yourself first. Speaking of that, um, I I dedicated this year to going around and training with all of the greats, okay? So right I'm coming to see you. Oh, we'd love right. to have you. I'm coming to see to you. you. I'm trying to get to you for the end of this year. Um, as far as your training itself, speak on that. You know, how does one get involved in uh, Rennie Doyle's training? The first thing you do is, you know, what I, what I do your research. Go on, mm -hmm. you know, go search out Detail Mafia members. Talk to them. Don't okay. take my word for it. All right. My wife and I, you know, my wife's a wonderful lady. She's got a, a law enforcement background. A instruction background. Okay. Uh, she's been a trainer. Uh, I've, I've been a trainer. I want to uh, uh, one of the lead trainers in uh, the military reserve in California for the guard. Okay. Uh, training search and rescue. Mm -hmm. It's my forte. The thing that separates us from other training is that a we ran a multi-million dollar company, mm -hmm. uh, and b we're connected with some of the best detailers in the world. That when somebody decides to join our group. They are now connected to the same people I'm connected okay. to. Yeah. It also opens up, you know, all it takes for me is to get a hold of the CEO of, of McGuire's or PNN. I mean, we hang out with Bob. You right. Know what I'm <laughs> yeah. we hang out with Bob from right. Flex. Right. I right. go to Germany every year and hang out with the president. I go over to Root Bash and hang out with it, you know. So mm -hmm. if we need something, it's open up your phone and you call them. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing is, is get a hold of Diane. You can call, you can actually send me a direct email, Rennie at detailingsuccess.com. Okay. We'll send you a 29 page overview of our training. Okay. Uh, you get out to California. Um, you take and once you get there, we'll pick you up at Ontario Airport. Mm. The hotel's included in the price. Wow. We we'll get you back and forth. But here's what we're going to do to you. Okay. I only take 48 students a year. Now we have one day courses all over the country. Mm -hmm. We have one day courses in California, northern and southern. We got one day courses in Arizona. We got one day courses in Indiana, so in the central part of the country. We got okay. one day courses up in New Jersey. Wow. We got one day courses down in, 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 in Florida, here in Florida. Okay. And so we'll take and teach you the basics. It's a few hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. So even if you're just starting out, you're 15 or 50. Okay. I don't care. Right. The reason why I mention those is because I got my start when I was young, 15, and I had a house paid off by the time I was 26. Wow. Okay. And the reason why I mentioned 50, I'm over 50. They got a lot of people. Listen, America, uh, uh, corporate America is throwing you to the wayside. Mm -hmm. Once you hit 45, 50, you are useless to corporations anymore. Right. You are not useless to yourself. Mm. You, matter of fact, go back to what Carol Shelby told me. You're just getting smart at 50. 
I've right. got cats that I've trained at 62, 63 mm -hmm. that are killing it. Wow. They're in their second, they're, they're in their second careers and they're killing it. Wow. So, you know, get a hold of me, Rennie, at detailingsuccess.com. Mm -hmm. We'll start there. We're not for everybody. I only train 48 people a year in our, our five day course. Uh, we do eight at a time in our one day courses. We've got uh, mar one day marketing courses coming up, one day sanding courses coming up. Okay. And so we're going we're gonna to take, and, but here's the deal. We're going to push you hard. This yeah. isn't a luxury tour. Yeah. Uh, this is you're gonna you're gonna fill it. You're gonna need to probably take Monday off after training, <laughs> and you're gonna need a couple days to catch up. That's what I'm and, talking about. And, and we, we push you. We don't go light. Uh, we're very dedicated to you. Mm -hmm. But the most important part is the the days, months, and years after that, we want to make you succeed. We okay. want to help you get to the points you never thought of. You can you know what we're all damaged goods. Mm -hmm. You know I was just talking to Billy, uh, American Detailers Garage. You won. Supplier of the year this year, young guy came out of the trenches, dug yeah. himself out, mm -hmm. and we were talking about we're all damaged in some way. Yeah. And if you're not, you're a liar. You're yeah, damaged. You're lying. You just you're lying. You, you ain't even being honest with yourself. So I just had one guy that trained with us three years ago. He's suicidal. He's going to hang himself. Mm. Came out to training. Him and I. He's a pretty big guy. We both lift. Mm -hmm. He was mouthy. I'm mouthy. And I just told him, listen, shut your mouth pie hole. <laughs> and and this is what you got to do. And he said he fought me. And I just saw him right now. Mm -hmm. And he said, dude, you you, you and Diane changed my life. And, and so if you're damaged good, I don't, I don't care. You can't be psycho, you know, yeah. but if, if you're having problems growing, if you're brand new in the business, if you're young, you're old, mm -hmm. here's the deal. If you're dedicated, we'll help you build a business and a life. Mm -hmm. But without a life, you don't have a business. Right. I like it. I and like I like it. what you do in building other people up. Mm -hmm. You're not making it about you. You're going to be successful. You know why? Wow. Because you're making it about everybody else here. Exactly. And when you, when you do that, guess what you're going to do? They're, we're all, I, you're handsome. Thank I'm you, gonna man. help put you up, man. Thank you, man. Okay. Are you married? Yeah. Oh shit. How, how's your daughter? <laughs> two. Oh, uh, two. Yeah. Okay. I got a twenty-year-old son. So oh, my, you do? Yeah, see, my... I was gonna hook you up with my daughters, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, Ryan, he's pretty studly, man, but he's married. Hey, Sorry. See, my, all the good ones are married. To me. Might have been my father-in-law. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> that's what we call. That would have been interesting. I would be in the mafia. That's, then. It, that's it. Yeah, you would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to yeah, initiate man. you first. Man. <laughs> well, my oldest daughter is a Marine. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to do that to you. Hey, She's look, mean. you're going to get me beat up now yeah, when I get home. Me, my wife's going to beat me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, let's change the subject. Let's change that's my subject. idea, my idea. Okay, back to uh, that's it, that's nah. it, that's it. <laughs> But, nah, that's good, man. Uh, so, again, we're here with Rennie Doyle. Um, I mean, icon in this industry. Uh, anybody around here detailing, when this dude walks by, okay, they know. Their heart starts beating a little fast. Oh, I, oh, I'm standing here. <laughs> With this man doing Jim, the interview. Jim's puking his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who, this guy? Yeah. <laughs> I've known him all my life. Yeah. Well, I have it, man. So, you know, a well, lot of respect honor. to you, it's man. Thank Tilt you. my hat to you. I love everything you. that you're doing. I wish you much more success. Uh, and I'm going to jump on the train with you, do Let's whatever do I can, learn what I can off of you, man. And, uh, you know, if, if I'm still here and you're gone, hopefully I'll still be implementing that, some it. of the well, things hey, that you That's it. Well, hey, if you're young, this is, you know, you're the next generation to come up through. Mm -hmm. And it's our job to take and lift you guys up with us. It's not our job to shove you down, but right behind you, you're grabbing onto the hair of the next dude, right. and you're pulling him up too. So you know, I'm around. I, I'll be here. You'll be pushing me around in my wheelchair. I see. Know? I see the overall picture, man. I feel like we're only here for a brief moment. We are, man. And, man, and we man, feel man, like it's okay, it, but it's not. really just a puff of wind. It's so. Not. You know, sitting there spending too much time worrying about your issues, your problems, all you're too focused on yourself. That's you're exactly selfish, you're self-centered. Open your mind, think about the people around you, get it off of yourself, man. Um, so I want to wrap this up. Thanks, man. <laughs> but I, it. but there's uh, other things that I had wanted to mention, but I ain't gonna make this video too long. I'm sure we're probably about to run out of tape too as well. Um, but one like jewel, you know, if you could put uh, a, a, a bit of advice in okay. one sentence. Uh, what is it that you would tell people to, you know, to well, do. boom. Write a plan out, a really simple plan. Okay. Find a mentor that understands small business locally. Okay. And then um, take and, and, and listen to that mentor. You know, really listen. The other thing is feed your mind every day. Uh, don't have a man cave, have a study. You know, we used to, gentlemen used to educate themselves instead right. of entertain themselves. Right. Entertainment is an education. Mm -hmm. And so write that plan out. Even as, if you don't know how to write a business plan, go online, a lot of samples of it. Have your mentors help you out with that. Stay connected. YouTube's a great source okay. online for education, but you, you never know who you're getting that information from. Gotcha. So that local, that local mentor is going to be huge, and there's a lot of people that want to help build you up. Just find the right ones. Man, I love it. 
We didn't talk about a lot of detailing tips and all this other stuff. I mean, we got to the infrastructure, making sure that your mind is right, basically. There you go. That's what we touched on. I like it. I love it. Appreciate right, the time, Rennie. Good meeting you, man. Hey, Thank you. Much. Take care, everybody. Yep. Right. Take care, guys. Listen to this guy. He's got it, he's got it going on.